I'm so excited. I'm super excited. Do you know, Henry, I have never been to a beach on the Gulf before. Really? Never. Yeah, Neither has Daddy. This is the first time. It's a big deal. It was a little crazy to drive over this bridge while they were doing construction on it to repair from the last hurricane. Isn't that neat? It tells all about the different types of water systems around here. So Hurricane Ian caused all of this area to be shut down. And actually, I think it's just been the last few months that they've even been able to get out to the island. There's a ton of work still happening. But the bathrooms are open, so that's nice. And we're going to walk out on the beach. So they do have a boardwalk that is having to be reconstructed since the hurricane damage. Oh, thank you, buddy. Sunflower. Pretty flowers. But we always seem to pick a way that's a bit of a walk. So here we are walking through the sand. I don't mind. It's good memories. We always laugh about how much we have to walk. Benji is being helpful and pushing the stroller. The last time we did this, Ethan was still in my tummy. And next week he will be one. That's so hard to believe. Benji, you said it wasn't going to be soft. The sand is different though. Like it's got a lot. It, yes, it definitely looks different. Yeah. Could be still, yeah. Oh, Daddy found a good size shell already. Mm -hmm. I look at I mean these are incredible. Look at all all the little shells, all the big shells. That's amazing. There's just shells everywhere. Oh wow. Do you like it? Yeah. I said the showing was good. It's got too many shells. I've never seen such good shells. So you know the sand dollar is alive when you flip it over and you see all those little hair-like things wiggling around. So we know we got to put it back. I right? found it. I can't believe. I it. know that's awesome. I, you did I, great, I, bud. I found it. Can I pick it? Oh my gosh, buddy, that is amazing. We were so excited to see how few people were on the beach here in Sanibel Island. As it turns out, if you keep watching the video, this is actually the most crowded beach that we visited all week. Today we are out at Turner Beach, which is in the Captiva area, and um, again, I know it's like the off season, a lot of this area has just opened back up in the last couple months, I guess I should say, of this stuff that is actually open, but our family is out here and we're the only people out here. There are a few people that are fishing that we passed, but it's like a private beach. This area is known for their incredible shells. As you can see, there are all different colors, shapes, and sizes. It was amazing. What is it? That's a fish. How'd you get it? I literally just catched it in my hand. I'm going to use it back in the water before we die. Can I hold it? Today we are at Bonita Beach. It's uh, free to park here actually, which is great. Um, again, the hurricane damage is unbelievable. Most of it looks pretty uninhabited, but it's beautiful. And the palm tree is like growing in the middle of the beach. It's like something from TV. I really like it a lot. So we're going to go find a spot. caught it because I can't see anything on my screen. I'm just going to hold it here. I think so. I think I got it. Bonita Beach seems to be a little bit different um, in terms of depth. As to where when we went to Sanibel, it seemed like we could walk out 
a mile and it stayed like the same depth. Here there are a ton of shells, which is great. They're amazing, but it does get deep very quickly. So hopefully everybody will pay attention to where they are and what they're doing. <laughs> What you thinking about, Jackie? You'll see those big shells out here? Yeah. Oh, you like those big shells? You, give me my shovel? you need a shovel? No shovel? The Atlantic Beach area that I have been to most does not have anything like this, but it's just rows of a shell bed, and you walk about three feet and another row of a shell bed, and then down at the edge of the water, there are shells just rolling up constantly. So if you like shells, this is a place you wanna be. It's gorgeous. It just is a tropical paradise. I don't know what else to say. We're so glad that we drove the extra hours to come to the Gulf. It was definitely, definitely worth it. It's beautiful. If you've never been and you have a chance to come down this way and you do not like busy beaches, I highly recommend this area. So this area's got years of recovery to go still. We did, certainly did not realize that situation, but we're excited to go out on the beach. Oh yeah, so here is what gets left behind, I guess. Wow. Blue. Guys, so we found sinking sand, and I'm like all the way up to my shin, and, and I'm so locked in, Yay! I can stop it. Help me, mommy! I don't even budge, and, and I mean by the rapture. Today was a huge success. We came out to the Fort Myers area again because it worked out so well with the kids last time. We would have to say that this particular beach for our family is an absolute um, A plus because it's got a little bit of waves at very close to the shore. But once you get past those, it's nothing but floating and you can walk way out, which when you're a kid, just going way out seems to be what they always wanna do. And so they just float and there's no undertow and you don't have to worry about waves crashing on them or like, you know, always worried a wave is gonna go over their head. So in terms of the kids, it was perfect. There's still amazing shells on this beach. You just sit and watch them <laughs> roll up on the waves as they come in and you get incredible shells. So I think for our family as a whole, Fort Myers area actually gets the vote for the win. Today was a great last day on the beach. Even Ethan enjoyed the sand and the water just a little bit. I'm gonna show you that right now. Did you find your shells? Huh? Do you like them? It only took you all week to warm up to the water in the sand. Isn't that right? You just screamed and screamed before. You're doing pretty good now. No, no, don't put it in your mouth. No, no. Tewie. There's the big kids out there in the water. Yeah. You like that? How does the sea protect itself from the sun? It wears sea glasses. How was it, Gideon? Good. Did you have fun today? Yeah. What was your favorite part? Um, and Henry playing. You and Henry playing in the sand? Y'all yeah. had quite a great thing going on. Yep. I'm glad you had fun. <laughs> yes. I'll get some away! I've been shallow away! Wait! <laughs>